Good evening, y'all. Um, my name is Tristan, aka Mr. Six Foot Eight, across all social media platforms. Um, I wanted to share with you today my thoughts, my most inner thoughts. Um, consider it to be like a, a virtual diary almost, except it's one that I'm sharing with the public, one that um, are my own opinions and views. Um, it's not a reflection of anyone else, just my own personal thoughts. Um, certain parts of it, of course, you know, I will be mindful just because of just the people that it involves. But um, I felt like that this particular time for myself and for my healing, it was very necessary for me to figure out a way to, um, to try to heal. Um, and I think that that is something that a lot of people struggle with. But with that being said, um, this is the unspoken truth of a black unidentified man, chapter one. Let's get it. Am I worth the work? What I have learned at the age of 35 is that sometimes life will give you gaps in time where there is no purpose, no desire, no attraction, no sense of direction to anything. The only thing you have is just silent thoughts of worry, doubt, and frustration like a bad record that has been sitting, spinning around slowly on a 45 album player. Every time you think you may have life figured out, life will somehow take you off your feet and knock the wind out of you as if you have been tackled on a football field by 20 men all at once. It has taken almost a decade to finally share with you my most inner thoughts, secrets, and things that have led me to this intersection in life where everything I thought about myself is no longer myself, leaving me feeling completely un unidentified as a black man. All I ask is that you sit down and let your heart be in peace of a, and in a non-judgment zone as I share with you the unspoken truth from an unidentified black man. I know many of you say, well, why did you not go see a therapist? Why don't you go see a therapist? However, I have done that work I have passed that test, but yet I have still found myself back in the same square root of the problem. And so because of that, I decided to take a different approach and do things a little different and right. So in the last six months, I have been through a health crisis, a move, hospitalized, getting ready for another major move, the death of my grandfather, a sexual identity crisis and severe depression. I think I have slept in my bed the last 30 days more so than I have been standing up and experiencing life itself. The struggle has been real, y'all. It did not occur to me the reality of the silence of pain and suffering I have carried on my shoulders for 35 years. I say 35 years because trauma has somehow found me from birth, growing up in an abusive household with the man I now find difficulty calling my father. As a matter of fact, when I do see him at funerals in the family, I still find it difficult to believe that he is my dad because of how we are not alike in so many ways. Even as I write the word father, Even as I write the word father, it still pierces my heart like which has which has been shattered and put back together each time I made an attempt to make an amends, peace, and establish a relationship and offer forgiveness to him as well as forgiving myself. Because sometimes you have to learn to forgive yourself in order to heal. However, my healing is something that will forever be incomplete in certain areas because of other people not willing to do the work. So consider this entry writing of me doing my part at least and releasing. I feel we as black men carry so much weight as it is because of what society has taught us that we should be as men. But I challenge that by asking the question, what is it that we're really taught? What is the true definition of a man when it has been stated time and time again that we are weak for being vulnerable if we show too many emotions that makes us fragile? Is this why we truly choose to suppress our own trauma and all that we have endured just to fight and live another day? 
when really we still have issues underneath. We hide behind masks. And as a result of that, we suffer in silence. There has been so many triumphs and wins I have taken, only to find myself with dry tear stained faces late at night as the moon shines through my window, hoping to God to give me some kind of peace of why I still do not feel that I am enough, even in all things that I have gained. And why I feel the need to even make myself even in my dating life as a pitching point subconsciously to a person that probably can't understand, don't understand, don't care to understand anything about me. It all leads back to one catalyst of the issue at hand. At what point did I stop believing in myself to be continued?